Hi, my name is Dan Brett. I'm the CSO of Countercraft, and this is Meet the Crafters. Today we're going to be talking to Marty Buckley, our Head of Content Management. So Marty, thanks for coming down today. Yeah, my pleasure. Okay, well look, it's great to have you here. Can you tell me a little bit about how you came to be in Countercraft in cyber? Because I think your history isn't always in cyber, is that right? Yeah, no, my history is in just about everything that isn't cyber. <laughs> I, have, I have experience as a, as a chef, cooking professionally. Um, I also have experience as a journalist. And then I also have quite a bit of experience in marketing, hence the connection um, with Countercraft. But previously, all of my marketing experience and content creation experience has been more in the food world and more in the travel industry. So we're really privileged to have Marty here, who's an expert on all sorts of things. I believe you've even written some books on the subject. Is that right? <laughs> yes, I have a cookbook about, the, about Basque cuisine called Basque Country. Um, it came out a couple of years ago. Um, a big old tome that tells you everything you need to know about Basque food. It's an absolutely fantastic cookbook, if you're interested, oh, okay? <laughs> and I think there's something coming up in the works as well, right? Yes, I'm currently working um, on the Pincho cookbook. So something similar, but focused on the tiny bites that are famous in St. Sebastian. So follow Marty if you want <laughs> some info on gastronomic excellence. But here, many people are watching us for cyber, so that's a fantastic background. But what has that allowed you to bring to communicating cyber? Because it's a very different world. You know, it's a, it's a world that's non-tangible. It's you know, it's it's in the cyber realm. Um, is there anything you've seen or you've learned about communication in other areas that you can apply to cyber? Yeah, I think I mean coming in was definitely a big learning curve and you know, a totally different language, different vocabulary, um, which has been really fun and really great learning it with the Countercraft team. But yeah, I think it has helped in a way, whatever disadvantage may have brought, I think it's been counter countered by just coming in with fresh eyes and you know, just looking at what people are doing and what you know, businesses in the sector do and saying, why is it like that? You know, why does it have to be boring? <laughs> why does it have to be so jargony? Why does it have to have this kind of graphic? And just kind of questioning everything because the people, I think the people that are, you know, potential customers are, you know, in the field, they're people too, you know, they like the same things. That, totally. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's just like uh, kind of bringing a fresh look at things and kind of, um, maybe working on, you know, a more friendly tone, you know, just bringing, bringing it a little bit out of the kind of hole that it might have been in. <laughs> it's true. We kind of go down a bit of a rabbit hole in, in <laughs> cyber of our own things we know about. And also, I mean, I find it very refreshing because we've had to, you know, um, you have to sort of get back to basics and be able to communicate, explain things from zero. And you've been able to bring that vision, like you said, a kind of like um, beginner's vision, as it were, a Zen vision to the product and help us. I think it's really helped us with our communication. We've been able to hone in on exactly what we need to communicate and why and the kind of values behind it. So that's really good. Okay, great stuff. So um, I don't know, to end up then, um, what are you looking forward to over the, like, uh, you know, the next couple of years in Countercraft? What great challenges do you see ahead for you? Well, I think, you know, it's, it's kind of a balance, isn't it, with um, deception is still for some people kind of an unknown. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, businesses, some of them aren't sure how they can use it and how it can benefit them. And so I think, you know, that's one of our biggest challenges is just showing people that it's not just for huge, you know, government sector mm -hmm. organizations. It can be for um, smaller businesses as the world uh, gets more and more online as ransomware is just everywhere and attacking you know, smaller and smaller businesses, um, I think everybody needs to bring their protection up just a little bit because it, our lives are online now. So I think you know, uh, the challenge is to show people that deception can really help them you know, no matter where they are. So it sounds like a challenge at every level, not just communicating to large organizations, but also down to individuals. Mm -hmm. That's a huge challenge. Yeah. That's yeah. great. <laughs> well, I've, we've also got a, um, a, cha a, 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 well, I guess a challenge here. We'd, we've always wanted to do a gastronomy and security conference. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe Marty, with your experience in that space, you can help us out and everyone can come and check out um, our R&D center in one of the most fantastic locations for gastronomy in the world. Um, we'll work on that, right? Yeah, I think, I think we have to throw it in there. We are based in probably one of the best cities in the world, San Sebastian, beautiful oceans, mountains, pinchos, good food. Mm -hmm. So I think people would be up for a trip to, to come visit us and talk about cyber. Exactly. <laughs> Good food, but excellent 
cybersecurity practice and conferences, okay? Anyway, you've seen it here. Marty's gonna help us out. <laughs> Thanks very much, Marty. It's been lovely to talk to you today. Um, remember to click like and subscribe to find out more about the craft as in the future. Thanks very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.